Hi, let's see a battle today between fire and magnet. Did you guess this? Or maybe this? What an amazing thing we can see here. It seems as if the magnet is ruling on the flame. Effect of external magnetic field on flames was first observed by Faraday about 150 years ago. He thought that it was due to the free ions present in the flame and those free ions are influenced by the external magnetic field. But later scientists have found that uh, more than ions what thing matters is the diamagnetic fuel material of the flame in the paramagnetic atmosphere. If we want to understand what is going on then we first need to understand the very basic things about the candle flame. This is a candle. Candle is basically wax which is made of hydrocarbon that is it contains both hydrogen and carbon and during the combustion I mean uh, as it is burning so it uses oxygen for the burning process. But what is so magnetic about carbon, oxygen and hydrogen? Magnetism is actually a game played by the electrons inside a substance. Suppose inside a substance I have even number of electrons and all these electrons are spinning on their own axis like this. Now if I consider this pair of electrons then this surface, this sharp surface is along this direction and for this electron the sharp portion is along this direction. So these two are in aligned are in opposite direction to each other which means their dipole moments are opposite to each other and the dipole moments cancel. So they do not give rise to any net magnetism. Similarly this pair of electron they also uh, cannot cause magnetism and for this pair of electrons the thing is the same. And this is exactly happens in case of hydrogen and carbon which is the primary fuel of the candle. And this type of substances which do not have any lone pair of electron or any single electron to give rise to the magnetism is called diamagnetic substance. But what if I take this out? So this single electron will spin on its own axis and there is nobody to cancel its spin, its dipole moment and which leads to a net magnetism of the substance. The molecules for which this lone pair of electrons are very few in number are slightly attracted by the magnet and is called paramagnetic substance. Our very own, our lifeline, oxygen is a paramagnetic substance with a very few lonely electrons and slightly attracted towards the magnet. Why the height of the flame increases when we apply the magnetic field? Here the magnetic force is acting along the direction of the bowen force. So it is magnetic force plus bowen force which pulls the flame upwards. The magnet does not like the fire I guess. Actually the yellow part of the flame is because of some dirty fuel like uh, some unused carbon and this carbons glow hot and yellow. Carbon is actually a diamagnetic substance which does not like the magnet. So here because of the presence of some unused carbon we can see this effect. This time it likes the magnet. That is because of the presence of some free radicals like methyldine or carbine with CH minus that is one lone pair of electron which makes it paramagnetic means slightly attracted towards the magnet and of course oxygen is also there which is also a paramagnetic substance. The magnet also attracts 
more and more oxygen molecules to the flame which results in the brightness of the flame. If you find the video interesting then please consider subscription. Thanks for your time.